Water. Living water. Do you remember that story? The story of the woman at the well. Jesus went to a well. He was, he was thirsty. And she looked at him and she said, Sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where can you get living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well to drink from himself, as well as his sons and the flocks? And Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I will give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give will become in him a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. A spring of water welling up to eternal life, he told her, the woman at the well. In that gospel, Jesus makes the woman at the well a promise. A promise that will, well, it'll change her life. Baptism is one of the sacraments of initiation. In a very real way, baptism is about promises. It's actually the door through which we receive the other sacraments because it's the first one we receive. It unites us with Christ who died for our sins, who rose for our justification. In baptism, well, when we're baptized into those living waters, many things happen to us. We are freed from original sin, we're born again in Christ, and we're incorporated into the church. We become a part of his body because that's truly what our church is all about. When we're baptized, we actually are immersed in water. The Trinity is poured down upon us. We're baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We make promises. We make promises to reject sin, to reject evil, to reject temptation offered by darkness, the devil himself. Temptation that, that Adam and Eve weren't able to reject in us. Original sin became a part of the world. We then, we then are invited to make a statement of faith, to state before all that we believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, and the church that Jesus left behind. In a very real way, when we're baptized, we die and we rise with Christ. When we die with him, we carry with us our fears, our moments of darkness. We give them to him. And the grace that we receive through prayer throughout the course of our life will help us face those problems, those moments of darkness. You know, there's a part of the ceremony in which usually the child will put on a white garment, actually symbolizing for all to see that when we're baptized, we, we put on Christ. He becomes our armor against the problems of life. Christ is indeed our help. He is our protection. He is our strength. We have nothing to fear because we stand with him ever by our side. I'm Father Dan O'Connell, encountering Christ in the sacraments.